everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Stephanie of Geeky Planning here, back at it again for another haul. So for today's haul we have Paper Candy Art, Rose Colored Days, and the Pretty Pink Co. And as per usual I will have like little icons here-ish showing um, whether it was something that I purchased or if it was something that was brought for me for PR. Um, or not brought for me, but like that was free from PR, but spoiler alert, all of these are I spent my own money kind of things. I can also make another like little icon that is like for subs. So like if it's a subscription to a specific shop, just so you know that like that's the only time that you can buy it and it's never ever going to be available for that shop ever again probably. Um, but yeah, and then also as per usual, I will also have the little screen here showing the timestamps for all of the hauls in this video, along with timestamps, 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 and links in the description box down below. And as per usual, I think I have been forgetting to put this in my like intro somewhere, but there might be just a tiny little healthy dosing of sailor language somewhere in this video. If that's not your cup of tea, please feel free to swipe out, unsubscribe, and do whatever you need to do to not watch this video. Um, but if you don't mind, go ahead and keep on watching for the hot mass express train that is about to come your way um, but without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video Okay, so the first shop that I have to show you guys is the Pretty Pink Co. And as per usual, their packaging is always amazing, beautiful, spot on. And I love the fact that they take the time to just write your name on the front of here. So it says Happy Mail for Stephanie. And it's just so cute because there's a little bow at the end of that. Um, and then on the other side, it does have this cute little doily on it. So I'm going to take everything out of this super like cute frosted um, envelope. And I'll be back in like two seconds. Okay, so first off in this order is a little note from the Pretty Pink Co. team on this super, like, nice cardstocky paper, which I don't know why they would waste good paper for this, um, but it just says, Hi, thank you so much for your order. Your support of our shop means the world to us. We are so sorry for the long processing time for your order. We are currently facing a severe family emergency. Thank you so much for patiently waiting. It is truly appreciated. Thank you, the Pretty Pink Co. And I just think this is so sweet, um, just because... I know that they posted a couple of times on Instagram that because of the pandemic they were facing a family emergency um, but I as a consumer appreciated the fact that like every so often whenever they had the chance like every week every other week every couple of weeks they would put a post hey we're working on our orders a couple of them shipped out we're sorry you can ask us for a refund on Etsy all of that fun stuff and they would update periodically which I personally appreciated so I was like you know what if you're updating me and like this is an actual family emergency like for sure take all the time you need like that kind of stuff so I just really appreciate the fact that they did put this into all of their orders and then this is the journaling card. It says plan, dream, do, and then the pretty pink co on this side, and then plan, dream, plan, do on this side. Um, and again, this is like the super luxe, like, you can't even hear it, like, there we go. Hopefully you guys heard that part. Um, but it's just like a super luxe, super thick type of journaling card situation. Um, and then this is my actual order. So I'm gonna like unpack some of this stuff and I'll be back in like two seconds. Okay, so I figured I would zoom you in just a teensy weensy bit um, for this section, but the first thing here is this freebie on the gold foil, and this is on like a, a clear sticker paper. I totally just moved all of these out of the way. And this is a clear sticker paper, but it has like little like circles, some like a scallop bow, some like little arrows, hearts, and then a half box overlay, which I think this is super cute and super functional to add just a little bit of foil into all of your spreads. Um, and then this is so cute. This is like on a white paper with pink, and I'm assuming this is another freebie because I don't remember ordering this or the sheet underneath it. Um, but it's a bunch of little bows and then some like lines and circles, some like more little bows, some arrows, and some half boxes. And this bow reminds me a lot of like the I like a print pression bow just because this one and that bow are very much so like almost like a cheer bow like it's super big um so i just think that's really cute and then this was another freebie and it just has like some dividers some circles um some headers little scallops and these are like scallop half circle type things hopefully you can see that um some circles and then some little flags and then this was another freebie lots of freebies um and then this is just like a bow icon sampler thing which i have got this from one of my orders previously and i'm so happy to have another one because i've already used like a bunch of icons from this sheet so that's super cute and then onto my actual order like checking in that we're still in frame really quickly um so the first thing here are these little like 
book and headphone icons and I picked these up in gold and silver just because I thought these would be super cute for marking like audiobooks or podcasts or anything like that. Um, and then I also did pick up these little half scallop mandala things um, and these are in silver and the gas icons in gold, silver, rose gold, and hollow because I mean I pump gas every other week because I do have to drive to and from work and the grocery store and all that fun stuff. So there are those. And then these super gorgeous like sunflower half mandalas in gold um, just because I would personally use gold in a sunflower spread um, but that's more of a me thing than a anybody else kind of thing so there is that. And then the nail polishes I picked up in gold, silver, rose gold, and hollow. So here are all four of those. I need to get bigger, bigger, better at this whole wiggling thing because I don't know what Maris is doing. Um, and then these are, I think these are podcast icons, but I thought these would be super cute for marking either listening to podcasts or voiceovers. Um, and so just because I thought I would get a bunch of use from them, from them, from them, I got them in gold, silver, rose gold, hollow, and black. And then you can, I believe you could get all of these in non-foil or just like plain black, um, or in the actual foil colors themselves and even a couple of fun foils which I kind of regret not getting some of these in fun foils just because it would have been really cute just to try them out and stuff um, and then these are the book icons and I got these solely in black because I have a bunch of like actual like multicolor like book and school icons so I just thought these would be super cute to just have in black to throw them into any spread um, and then these were like some little scallop circle things and I got them I believe in all four foils so yeah so I got them with the pink underlay in all four foils are these no that, that one was different um so here are in three foils gold silver and hollow i think i did gold silver and hollow for all of these just because i don't really use rose gold a lot um so i got them in gold silver this one i got in rose gold and hollow so there are that and they're just like cut out circle scallop little things for like layering and stuff like that and then i got the half scallops in gold and silver I believe yeah just in gold and silver just because these are the two foil colors that I use the most and then just like non-foiled scallop circles in pink and she did have a couple of different or she they had a couple of different um like colorways and stuff um but I just figured pink and nudes are the most universal for me but I think they did, did have like blues and purples and stuff like that but again I use pink the most to me pink is a neutral so I did pick all these up in the pink underly and then these are just some like florally type circle like full box overlays so I got them in gold and also in silver um, just because you can never have too many overlays in gold or silver because those are my most used um, foils and these this sheet specifically is the only one that's had any like flakies but um, it's not on the overlay itself it's more so just or not on the overlay but not on the decorative part itself um, but it is still on the overlay but I can like if you couldn't see I am just scratching it off and it's coming off easy peasy lemon squeezy and there aren't any like black dots or anything um so it's the only sheet that I've noticed that's had like an issue with the foil um and then they're all cut like actually super beautifully so that's really cool um and then these are the like little polaroid type camera situations um just in pink these were unfoiled but I kind of want to get little like bow decos to just put on top of these where that little bow is um but yeah so that was all the like foil multicolor stuff that I got from the pretty pink co um all of the stuff that was a colored background so like this stuff was in their premium matte paper which I absolutely love it's not super buttery smooth like creativity and ink odd loop premium matte paper but it is still super duper soft um so there are all of those and then the clear paper is just regular like clear sticker paper it feels a little bit thinner than other clear papers that I've had in the past but I honestly don't know that much about clear paper so I'm not gonna sit here and talk about like I know any of that stuff um and then so now on to the like full kit situation okay so the next item from the pretty pink co I guess also the final item is the kit and this is a pretty tall sheet only because like the like labeling thing whatever is like a pretty chunky part of the top of the page um 
yeah that's basically it and then this is in rose gold i can't remember if the bow headers came a la carte or if they came with the kit um yeah but either way like i would have picked them up anyways just because these are really cute and these are kind of harder colors to match and everything um yeah let's just get into this so these are the bow headers and it one two three four five six seven eight okay so this comes with eight headers per thing so instead of getting 24 headers you get 28 headers wait no instead of getting 28 you get 32 headers that's what i meant to say um so this is totally enough to do like seven per each day plus one in your sidebar which i kind of really like just because that makes your sidebar a little bit more cohesive with the rest of your spread and all that fun stuff so there are those and then um these are the full boxes and i think this would be such a cute spread for like mother's day i need to learn to silence my phone man <laughs> um but i think this would be a super cute spread for mother's day as long as mother's day and cinco de mayo are not within the same week just because i personally would like to mark them separately in my planner um but these are the gorgeous gorgeous full boxes and again this was in rose gold and this is a very like true not true rose gold but like a very true pink foil if that makes any sense like this literally just looks straight up pink not really <laughs> any gold in there it's mostly just rose um but yeah so these are the full boxes and they are cut like super beautifully on their like premium matte paper and there are some little foil accents um little butterflies and then the quote just says i must have flowers always always which i think is really cute and there's a little moon with some little foiled stars and a little butterfly with little foil like glitter shimmery bits um and then more like full foil over the flower accents which i think is really cute and then this page has six different like quarter boxes six different half boxes a weekly tracker and two like bow checklists one of them plain and the other one with the pattern in the background and then some um like quarter box but like half scalloped boxes and then i'm assuming this is a yeah this is just a full-on solid as fuck washi strip um so there is that part and then you get three little bow checklists, five flags, five hexagons, four arrows, four scallops, two like other quarter boxes, a patterned half box, some scalloped half boxes, and then are these more headers? Yo, these are more headers. So this is a tenth full box, so super perfect if you're doing like memory spread with the three full boxes on your sidebar. And then these are just more headers, so you definitely have enough to do like two weeks worth of headers in this if you wanted to. And then the last page is the bottom washi. So this is three different strips. So it's one strip. That's two strips. And then this is, yeah, this is a third strip. So I personally would have preferred to it have either been like just this strip and make this one a little bit bigger or just this strip and then again make this one just a little bit bigger um just because i personally am not a fan of having three strips in the bottom bar um three not four three um but having two strips in the bottom bar i am like fully a fan of so i might just like omit both of these and put a 15 millimeter on top of it um and then just use the flowers as is we shall see and then these are super skinny like date covers but they're still very very cute so this will definitely give you enough room to do like deco and date covers even though this kit doesn't come with deco um and then you have these super cute like very luxurious looking icons there's a little clothes hanger a little candle some weights a coffee cup um little like champagne clinky glasses a little cupcake three little bows and then a weekend banner which can we talk about how stinking stunning this weekend banner is like this is a statement weekend banner um so yeah i think like in terms of kit format really my only issue with the format itself is the bottom washi like i would personally personally prefer like either just one solid chunky strip or two strips of washi instead of three um but that's obviously my cup of tea but the rest of this format is absolutely a one super perfect quality super perfect um the like full boxes all that fun stuff like you get 10 full boxes and i think that's kind of almost unheard of just because most kits only have like this nine one and then like or they'll do like the eight sideways and then one in the full box or not full box like the washi page or like a different page um so for a mini kit it's pretty <laughs> unheard of to have 10 full boxes especially in a four page mini kit um and then the fact that it comes with headers already like you totally don't even need to do um like 
if this if these bows were a la carte you totally don't even need to do like picking them up because this comes with two and because you get a ninth full box i personally think it'd be really cute to just cut up this full box and use that as like a patterned header situation and then like replace them so use this one in the spread and then use this one cut it up and use it as headers or you could just do two headers and call it a day and then like use washi as one of the other headers you know what i mean um so i think this is super cute like a1 kit format maybe like a2 because of the bottom washing again um but i just thought that was super stunning and the quality of all of this is absolutely amazing the transparency with the shop to their consumers is absolutely amazing so 10 out of 10 recommend checking out the pretty pink co and let's get on to the next shop Okay, so the next shop that I have for you guys is Paper Candy Art, and full disclosure, I did open this order already just because the owners of the shop do, um, like, ship all of your kits in one individual cellophane bag, um, which is this top one, but I personally like to keep my kits stored, like, separately in their own cellophane bag so they don't get, like, water damaged or anything um, while they are still <laughs> sitting in my storage for, like, 12 years. Um, also, this, like, little freebie, it has a coupon code for after you place an order with them um but i did just cover that up just you know out of i don't want to say out of respect for the shop but basically like because you order and then you get the code kind of thing um so yeah i just figured i would cover that up also that's kind of i should probably point this out um but for the description box down below if any of the shops have like instagram specific or youtube specific discount codes i don't list those in the description just because that would be a you have to go to their page to look at it kind of thing um so any like codes that are specific for purchases or checking out a specific social media handle i don't list them but anything else will be listed down below um and then that's why this is covered up like i did open this and cover this up and then put it back in the cellophane bag but anyways i'm just gonna take all these out of the bag and i'll be back in like two seconds okay so um for paper candy art she does have two different paper type tops types um, one of them is premium matte and the other one is glossy and i would say this feels more at least to me like a semi-gloss like the planner esque semi-gloss paper um i mean i feel like it's shinier than regular glossy paper but it feels like the quote unquote semi-gloss type of thing um so you can pick this up in either paper top hold on there's a car that's like having their alarm go off very much so next to my window i don't know maybe you can't hear it we're just gonna move on um but you can pick up the different paper types so this is the matte as you can tell there is no shift no gloss no anything versus this one it's very glossy and i personally hate glossy paper um i'll still use this because these are actually super functional super cute um like icons to use for cleaning and stuff um but i just don't really like glossy paper so that'll get sorted sometime eventually and then on to the kits themselves we're gonna start off with the wonder woman 1984 kit and it's very like 80s themed but also with wonder woman um and i just think this is absolutely like stunning okay so really quickly i am very salty that wonder woman got pushed back from like october i think it was like october 2nd or october 6th something like that to christmas day just because in my planner now i have to use either a grinch kit or a wonder woman kit um and I'm kind of really salty about it because I really wanted to use this kit for whenever very salty because I really wanted to watch this movie in theaters well I mean I'm gonna watch it in theaters probably anyways because if it comes out in 2021 hopefully by then the theaters will operate at like one percent capacity but that's different um but yeah so these are the full boxes and then if you order the like standard vertical kit so 1.5 by 1.9 it does come with the glitter header not glitter header but just like a glitter washi strip at the bottom but if you order them in the happy planner size you don't get this glitter strip just because the full boxes are a little bit taller so this is the full box page for the wonder woman kit and this is so so stunning like so excited to see Delgado in this cute little outfit and then this is very like cute 80s inspired type stuff um so I just think this is very very cute and then you have the icons some deco not deco pieces um script pieces all of that fun stuff and this I will say this forever and ever and ever if you are a like a starting out planner person definitely pick up this kit because if this is the only thing that you have for your spread you have enough icons to last you for every single week in the <laughs> or not every single week but just 
you have an icon for everything for the entire week um but if you have been planning forever and you have a bunch of foil that you want to pull into your spread these kits are like the icons are so cute that i don't want to use my foil but i feel like i have to use my foil to have something sparkling in the spread so i don't know it's just like a love-hate relationship with how gorgeous these icons are and the amount that you have in your spread and the kits like just all of it is <laughs> i don't even know what to do with any of it but there is that and then for the mini kit you do get the two like full boxes the date covers some little mini icons which i always forget about because they're mini and down here and i never really look at this page except for like the date covers and the full boxes like usually after i pull in either of these i'm like okay you're gonna go to the side for a little bit um but you also have these little like scallop checklists and these ombre heart ombre heart checklist um ombre weekly situations on here and then you have some half boxes some squared off half boxes half heart checklists spill dues appointment labels like other type of different appointment labels and then rounded quarter boxes and square pattern quarter boxes and then you get some to-do headers, some half boxes, a third box, the date dots, which I will say this for every kit that ever comes with date dots. I don't like date dots because you only need seven of them per week and they always come with 31. And I personally would prefer to just have a date dot add-on from a shop where they're just in solid black and that's it, call it a day, versus having these always get thrown away or be leftovers or whatever it is for a different spread because if every kit comes with the 31 date dots at the end of the 52 weeks of the year you're gonna have like i don't know whatever hold on we're gonna do some math now <laughs> so 31 minus 7 and then times 52 so you have like a thousand leftover little things right regardless at the end of the 52 weeks you have like a thousand and something of these just numbers laying around for zero purpose because they come in every single kit so that's the end of my very very angry rant um but they do come with date dots if you do like that i personally don't because you end up having a bunch of them left over at the end of the year but that's fine um and then you also get some work later laters labels some quarter boxes habit trackers mini weekend banner bear weekend banner um and movie marquee bows and then like bow divider situations and then you get your bottom washi an extra full box you get a 15 millimeter and a 30 millimeter her kit format has been updated to now you get like three 15 millimeter strips like a solid one and two different pattern ones just in case you like the bow in case you don't like the bow all that fun stuff um some more little glitter washies and then i did pick up the glitter sampler a la carte for each of these kits so you get the glitter headers quarter boxes half boxes and fancy labels all super cute and then the next kit that I picked up was a Willy Wonka inspired. So you have all the full boxes. This isn't Willy Wonka. This was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory inspired. Um, big difference. So there are those. And then again, you get the super cute little glitter washi strip. And then you have all of the icons, scripts, all of that fun stuff. The like two full boxes, date covers, scallops, ombres all of that i'm going to flip through these a little bit faster hopefully just because i want to get through all of these in a relatively okay time frame um some half boxes squared off half boxes labels bill dues all of that fun stuff and these are scallops i think in the other one they were squared but these are scallops for this format um to do's work scripts date dots <laughs> hate date dots um and then the bottom washi and i love this full box like definitely will be pulling this one into my spread and then the glitter sampler. Let me just turn off the camera really quickly before it shuts off on me. And then the next kit is a Finding Nemo. I shouldn't really say inspired because it's just like straight up Finding Nemo. Um, so you have like the Disneyland su submarine. Yeah, like the Finding Nemo submarine. Um, Darla, Nemo, Marlin, Dory, and then Squirt and Crush. I'm pretty sure, I don't even know if his name is Crush. But the other, the other turtle, the dad turtle. Um, and then like disney inspired fighting nemo outfits which are actually really cute i would 10 out of 10 get those um and then here are the icons and these look a little bit more doodle e doodle-esque than the icons in the previous couple of them that might just be like my head my brain playing tricks on me and all that fun stuff but there are those and then you also get like some more full boxes <laughs> with the sharks and i think these are so stinking cute so you get bruce and then the other two that i don't know what their names are um and then you have the date covers scallop checklists and the ombre weekly checklists and then half boxes quarter boxes bill dues all of that fun stuff 
the date dots, weekend banner, work labels, all of that. And then the bottom washi, which this is so cute. Oh, I love this bottom washi and especially like a little pop of yellow. Like yellow is so stinking cute in this. And then the glitter headers, um, quarter boxes, half boxes, and fancy labels that I picked up a la carte. And then this kit. So I believe I saw both Kristen of Planning Kalo and Emily of Emily Catherine Plan use this artwork, but with the kit from Sticky Essentials. Um, and I loved this artwork, but I loved Paper Candy Art's rendition of using it, if that makes any sense. Um, so I just, I had to pick it up. Like I was like, yo, I see this, I want this, I see it, I want it, I got it. Like, how does it go? I don't even know but we're just gonna pretend that I'm singing Seven Rings by Ariana Grande um but anyways these are the full boxes and then the icon scripts and I personally really like this page because it's so like just neutral and I could totally pull in all of these into any spread anytime after this um because it's all black gray and pink and again to me pink is a neutral color so probably will be keeping those just to pull them into everything and then this cute little like tattoo manied hand some crystals and the like date cover-ups which the date cover-ups are like a super cute almost dalmatian pattern like they're very cruella de vil-esque um more so if the date covers were in red um but yeah so there are the date covers and full boxes the like half boxes, patterny type half boxes, fancy labels, build news and all of that fun stuff. Um, weekend banner, date covers, work, not date covers, date dots, work labels and more boxes. And then the bottom washi, the like other skin tone, the darker skin toned girl, which I personally, this is just me being me, but I would have preferred if she still had the pink hair because the main reason for this kit was getting the girl with the pink hair, but the dark skin girl has black hair which I'm not the biggest fan of like this is not a natural hair color so I might as well just make that one also a non-natural hair color but that's just me being me um and then you get the 15 millimeter and the 30 milli 30 millimeter bottom washi strips and again I picked up the glitter header sampler page a la carte and I think this is either the last kit no second to last kit and then this kit which is a very Harry Potter Christmas inspired kit um yeah, I'm already picking up way too many Christmas kits. I think of the <laughs> Christmas kits that I have for this year, I have two left over from last year, and then this one, and then two more on the way from Paper Candy Art, and I really wanna buy the Toy Story Scroll Prince Co. one. That means I only have two weeks left of Christmas kits, and one of them is probably for sure going to be the Crafty Banana um, How the Grinch Stole Christmas artwork, so I have enough room for like one more Christmas kit, and I'm not even ready for it because there's gonna be so much good Christmas artwork coming out that I just, I can't like, <laughs> I need four more weeks of Christmas please um so I might honestly be saving this to use in like January so <laughs> we'll see how this goes hopefully I do have enough space to use this this year and not hoard it for next year but there is that um these are the icons scripts all of that fun stuff the extra full boxes date covers weekly ombres checklists all of that the half boxes, labels, bill do, sampler page, situation, weekend banner, date dots, work scripts, work scripts, work labels, and then the bottom washi with the extra full box. And I love this little pattern. Like I feel like this pattern alone would make it really cute to pull in like a blue foil to just bring in all of the blues in the kit itself. And then, so if, in my opinion, if I were to use a blue foil with this kit, I would not use these glitter headers and then only use these streak to kind of make the, these three, these three to make the blue stand out just a little bit more. Um, and then this is the last and final kit from Paper Candy Art and it is Frozen inspired artwork, which I mean, you can never, ever, ever go wrong with Frozen. So you have like Anna, Elsa, they're like different outfits. Um, I almost said they're coronation day outfits, but I don't think this was also this coronation day outfit but that's different um and then you have like the little sleighs some little hands so you have like Anna's hands and Elsa's hands this is very like sister heavy artwork um and all of that but I think this is still super gorgeous super stunning all that fun stuff and then you have the icons and the scripts and then the extra full boxes which are just like Elsa's hair and Anna's hair and then the date covers scallop checklist I keep forgetting what these are called and then the ombre weeklies Ah, we were getting stuck to each other. And then um, 
these are the like half boxes, quarter boxes, scallop boxes, builders, all of that fun stuff. And then the weekend banner, work scripts, movie marquee, all of that. And then last but not least, this is a super stunning full box. Um, and then you have the like 15 millimeter and the 30 millimeter washi strips. So this will like this alone screams very January to me. So I'm gonna use that as an excuse to use this kit in January. Um, and then these are the I almost said full boxes. These are not full boxes. The glitter headers. Um, quarter boxes, half boxes, and fancy labels. And that is it. That is everything that I picked up from Paper Candy Art. 10 out of 10 recommend checking out their shop just because I feel like, I don't even know what the right way to say it. Like I love premium matte kits and I appreciate the fact that these are non-foiled kits uh, just because that means that I can pull in all the foil overlays that I buy from Rose Color Days and Creativity and Ink um, and all of that fun stuff. And also I feel like they have very niche artwork. Like for example, the Wonder Woman one and the like Willy Wonka one and the Frozen one, like a lot of their shop or even like this Harry Potter Christmas one, there's a lot of like Trolls birthday and Super Mario birthday and superhero birthday um, and a lot of just like that kind of very niche, niche, very niche, very nerdy type artwork, which I love. I will always be a fan of. Um, so that was it from Paper Candy Art. And let's move on to the next shop. Okay, so the final shop in this little section is Rose Colored Days. And really quickly, I did just want to mention that Lauren is like, A, she's insane because I feel like every time I order anything, um, like on regular orders, I'll order it. And then 30 minutes later, I have the shipping notification. And then whenever I do the like subscriptions, whenever they, the, blah, blah, whenever the subscriptions get charged to my account, um, who was I gonna say? I get like the shipping notification the same day or the next day. So I always get my orders from Lauren like three days after I place them, which is absolutely insane. And even with that, she takes the time to handwrite like your name on the um, like label. And then I put the little like, thank you so much Lauren plus team. And then they wrote like, thank you too, which I just think it's so sweet that they took the time to do that for anybody's orders. Um, but that's besides the point. So really quickly, I am just going to take all of these out of the packaging and I'll be back in two seconds to show you what all this is. Okay, so first off, really quickly, hopefully I'm still in frame. <laughs> yeah, close enough. Um, so these are the freebies. So the first one is the, um, almost a journaling card, the business card for Lauren's shop. So you just have like rosecoloredays.com, Instagram and Facebook group are just rosecoloredays and then customer support, support.shoproseclaredays.com. Um, and then the little just breathe, which I always think of um, the, I almost said Meredith Grey, the Grey's Anatomy episode that's like the musical where Alexi sings Just Breathe and it's like the most beautiful thing on the planet. I can never read this without thinking of that specific song, picture thing. Um, and then this freebie, which I think this is in like either an ivory or a, a champagne foil. I honestly can't even tell. Um, and then this super cute little like dashboard thing that just says October in a rose gold and it has like the October 2020 things and then like R.I.P. Halloween because no one can go trick-or-treating this year but you can still have fun on Halloween because Halloween is about dressing up and not trick-or-treating. Um, anyways these are the only like sticker sheets that I picked up and I already used one um, in gold but I picked them up in gold, silver, rose gold, and her sparkly hollow but you can also pick these up in the more like fun holiday not fun holiday, fun foil colors. Um, but really quickly, just to read some of these, these are the Mexican celebration. So you have Dia de Reyes, um, Candelaria, Dia de la Constitución, Dia de la Bandera, um, Natalicio de Benito Juarez, um, Semana Santa, Dia del Trabajo, Cinco de Mayo, Dia de las Madres, Dia de la Independencia, Dia de los Muertos. Um, I can't read that. Dia de la Revolución, um, Dia de la Virgen de Guadalupe, Navidad y las Posadas, and then Año Nuevo. Sorry that I butchered all of my Spanish. I'm trying to speak very, very quickly um, through this, but I just thought these were super cute. And 10 out of 10, I recommend checking out Rose Claire Days. Her like celebrations and holidays section is like beyond insane off the charts, all of it, because I feel like she's done these for a lot of like UN recognized states and a lot of different religions and a lot of different practices and all of that fun stuff. Like 
I feel like religions was a wrong word, but just a lot of different spiritual practices, I think was a better way to say it. Um, but yeah, so 10 out of 10, recommend checking these out. I feel like she has 12 different options for um, holidays, so just check it out. Maybe you'll find your country, UN recognized state or region, that kind of fun stuff. And then onto the headers. So quick dis disclaimer, this was a set of five, but I did pull one of these out because I'm using it in my current spread. Um, so these were the like fat washies and these are the glitter headers. So I'm gonna take these out, put them in my reusable sticker book and I'll be back in like two seconds to show you those guys. Okay, so these are the header overlays that I picked up from Rose Colored Days. So the first ones are the chunky silver and gold ones. And really quickly, this one is a five me meter. <laughs> yeah, this is a five meter roll. And this is a 10 meter roll. And you can see, hopefully, that the five meter roll is a little bit thicker than the 10 meter one. And that's only because the headers themselves are the slightest bit thicker um like these the 10 meter ones in the regular glitter shed pattern i guess um are like paper thin like for sure thinner than any sticker paper that i've ever felt versus these these are chunky monkeys they're not as chunky as like the actual glitter tapes from like michael's from like 2016 if anybody remembers them they're probably half the thickness um but they're for sure like at least two or three times thicker um, than these ones. Um, so the chunky glitters, which these are so stunning. These are gonna be in like every, um, I almost said Halloween. These are gonna be in every Christmas um, spread in like November and December of this year. Like I can already see it a thousand percent. Um, but these are the chunky ones in silver and gold. And then these are the like regular shed pattern glitter in like a magenta color, a pinky color, a gold color, and a black color. And again, these are like the super paper thin, thinner, chunky, not thinner, chunky, but a thinner glitter pattern. So you can see on this one, because the flecks of glitter are a little bit bigger, they're more likely to pick up like um, lights and stuff versus these. They're just like a tiny, a tiny glimmer, a tiny little peak. Um, so I personally, personally would prefer if Lauren only came out with the chunky pattern versus the thin one. Um, but these are 1.5 perforation. They're the thickness, like seven millimeters of a standard glitter header situation. Um, so 10 out of 10 would recommend picking these up because you literally don't need to pick up any glitter headers like a la carte for any kids ever once you have a bunch of these. Um, and then I think I have all of the ones that Lauren has offered before um, just because, wait, no, I don't because I don't have the full collection. Um, but these are the three that I have previously. So these are the two different silvers in like the standard versus the chunky color. And then these three are like as close to gold as we could get, I guess. Um, this is like a true gold, this is like a hot gold, not hot gold, this is like a champagne gold, and this is more of like an ivory-ish, like gold pinky color in between like gold and rose gold. Um, but these two are in the thinner chunk pattern, and then this is in the like chunky chunk pattern. Um, so yeah, those are all of the tapes that I have picked up from Rose Colored Days. I can't remember, I think these three I already had, but like these four, six are the ones that I just picked up. So there are those. I should just probably sit some of these back in the like <laughs> overlay storage yeah okay so there are those and this one keeps falling off i don't really understand why but he just he just doesn't want to stay there um and then these are the bat ones that i have actually i should probably leave one of these on hold on give me like two more seconds so these are the bat overlays that came um like as a set and the only reason I picked up this set was because I wanted the hollow and to pick them up individually the hollow was out of stock so the only way that I would get the hollow was the set um but I personally wouldn't get the set of five just because I don't need champagne gold to be a part of the set you know what I mean like I could do with just gold rose gold silver and hollow but the set also comes with the champagne gold color which I'm not the biggest fan of um 
just because again like I personally would prefer just the four core foils um, but I know a lot of people have been requesting champagne gold because it does match a lot of other shops um, tapes like for example the creativity and ink ones are a more champagne gold versus the like gold gold and then um, scribble prince co her gold is a more champagne one versus a gold gold um, but anyways these are the bat headers so they're glitter header overlays in the four technically five different foils um, so there's hollow silver rose gold gold and champagne with a bunch of little bats in them and i think okay so you're gonna see a lot of these in my halloweeny spreads um just because i think that the these would be so cool to be as like bougie in the background so instead of using like bougie boxes just using these and then having a little bit of bats peeking in every now and then um but yeah so it's basically all of that that i picked up from this stuff um and then now let's get onto the rose color days overlay subscription so i do have two of them um just because it did take me forever to film this haul so let's just get on to that section now Okay, so the first one that I have here is the August 2020 um, overlay subscription. Um, so pretty quickly, just to have a creativity and ink journaling card. And so you can see like these, this was the um, first journaling card. I don't know why, I can't see it right now. I just took a drink of water, that's probably why. Um, but this was the like September 2020 calendar type thing. So you have a little loom, a little, I guess the sun and some clouds and some stars, which doesn't really make sense now that I think of it. Like it would have been either this one to show full moon or either this one to show crescent moon. But either way, it's still really cute. And then you have like September and then Sunday through Saturday with the little calendar section at the bottom. And I have said this before, um, but you can totally just take like, um, hopefully if I can pull anything out. <gasps> oh, today I can't do anything. But you could just take like a post-it and cover that part up or even just like some scrap sticker paper and cover that part up and just like use it as a regular journaling card after September 2020 already passes. Or you can take like one of the like clear stickers and put it, maybe not that one, but um, like one of the clear stickers and put it over a day that's like super special to you um, and then just use that to highlight a specific day if that makes any sense. Um, so this was the journaling card and then this was the... Um, like other journaling card situation so I think this one in specific would be super cute to like on the back side of it to just put like a picture of like if you had a baby a sleeping baby or if you have a significant other a sleeping significant other or just like a super precious moment on the back of it and then put like a half box somewhere to put like some stuff just as long as it has a white backing just so on the other side it would just be like white background with the cute pattern over it and then on this side would be like a bunch of cute stuff to put on it um so there is that and then the two sheets that came with the subscription the first one is just like a bunch of little star and moon deco so you have stars with the little hats the little moons um and then like in small medium and large which i think is so cute because you could totally just use this in like any spread to just add a little bit of like little sparkly moonness and this is in like a mix between ivory and like gold ish i would say um and then you have like bigger deco pieces so you have like the star with a little hat a little like teacup a moon a different moon a beauty mask um some pillows some clouds more moons and like this like pop tarty pillow with another pillow which is a replica of that one um which i think is super stinking cute and then these are the overlays so this looks like it's a matte silver and a matte gold type of finish so the first um full box overlay has um the like single border and the double stroke border of both gold and silver in that matte color way and they are perforated at the 1.5 inch mark and then this one is just the silver so this is i think the most genius thing that lauren has done um and it's a bougie box underlay tape or you can obviously just use this however you want but i would personally use this as a bougie box but it's like star bougie and this is in the silver um i'll like keep talking about this in a little bit but this is the bougie box and then the like 30 millimeter bottom washi it has the like star and the moon and the little clouds uh, patterned all the way throughout the 15 millimeter is just a little moon pattern all the way through <laughs> and then the header overlays these are probably the cutest overlays that i've seen lauren do um so the first one is just like eyelashes <laughs> the headers and then the second one is the same as like the star pattern as little headers and i feel like <laughs> if lauren is watching this please somebody tell lauren um 
to do this but I personally think it would be so cool if she comes out with or not if she comes out with but like as she keeps doing the overlay subscriptions making them like solely a fun color and having um let's say like if this one was just all stars but the color was like a navy blue foil having a star navy blue foil underlay a navy blue foil themed overlays and then a 15 millimeter 30 millimeter and headers that way you have enough bougie and just foil for your entire spread and like you can use just like the icons that come with the kit like the like extra like sheets over here could be um like just little deco pieces or even like icons or something super cute and I think that would be like the coolest way to do the subscription just because this is gonna sound bad but I feel like at some point she is going to run out of actual physical themes and the only option would be to repeat the themes in different colors so I think it'd be really cool to have them be like the same this same exact box but in navy or in like a fuchsia color or in a really pretty green color you know what I mean um that's just my opinion my two cents but there is the first overlay subscription oh holy shit okay <laughs> work Lauren okay so this is the second overlay subscription and I have not opened this one yet and I'm already so excited because these are like some tall ass sticky notes um Okay, so first thing, elephant in the room, these vellum sticky notes. Now Lauren has been doing these a lot. I personally haven't picked any of them up just because I know that if I do, sorry, I need to drink water. Just because I know if I do pick these up, I would need to pick up all of them. And I feel like this sticky note has now started that for me. Um, but it is just a vellum sticky note. So it is like clear. I don't know, hopefully you can see the clearness of this um with just a little like gold foil border and a gold foil like little accent piece here but i know that she has a rainbow one a pink one and i believe a gray one with like stars bordering it um which i think is so stinking cute and i love this especially for like if oh this isn't stuck to the backing by the way like this is just like on its own um and she has shown on her instagram that they are like curved hopefully you can see that and my <laughs> shaking thumb is not in the way um but these are curved if you can hopefully you see that I'm really bad at holding things steady um but they're curved but if you actually lay them down they do lay down pretty flat um and they're not stuck to the backing so this last one you would have to like glue on to something if you wanted to use it um or just keep it like this but I think these would be so perfect especially like if you're a student and you have like a textbook or something you can like circle a word that you don't know what it means and then put the definition next to it or if you have a question you want to ask about something you can like highlight the sentence without ruining your textbook especially if it's a rental and then write your question down like right next to it so I think this is so like stunning and innovative and just like my favorite thing on the planet is now like these vellum sticky notes and they're pretty thick too like oh no I was picking up like three at a time um so they're like super thin to where you could still probably like see yeah so you can see like what's going to be underneath it so if I wanted to circle rose color days I can circle rose color days and then write my question next to it so I think these are absolutely stunning and I need to pick up more of them now <laughs> thanks Lauren for starting my addiction on your sticky notes um and then Where'd my journaling card go? Okay, it's right here. Um, and then the first thing in this really pretty like green foil is a journaling card that says plant life and it has like little hanging plants, little succulents and stuff, monstera leaves on the bottom of it. And again, the same thing as the previous journaling card. I think this would be super cute to just like put like um, a picture on the back of it. So that way like one side you would be able to see the like deco that came on the journaling card itself and on the other side you could put like whatever you wanted to write on it and then the second one is in gold and it just says October because this was the September um monthly overlay thing so it's the month is for the following month so you still have time to use it um with the little like monster leaf and stuff like that but if you weren't planning on using this in October again take some sticky notes or something put it on the back of this take a bunch of half boxes put a full box on here like it doesn't really matter um do that and I think this is I'm like burping I can't um <laughs> I think this is so cute this is just like an absolutely stunning box and this header keeps falling off so I am really quickly just going to like open up all of the overlay tapes and then I'll put them onto the sticker book and I'll be back in like 
two seconds to get that done. I'm also going to listen to the tripod while I do that, but you didn't need to know that, but I'm going to say it anyways, just because I can. You know what I mean? Like, my channel, like, say what I want. So, we're going to do that. Okay, so I have taken all of the overlay tapes and laid them out for you to see them. Um, so the first one is this, like, um, green and gold. <laughs> I forgot what this is called. Um, but, like, a green foil and a more, like, matte, satiny type ivory foil. Um, so you have the single stroke, the double stroke offset, and the double stroke with the thick and the thin. I don't think that's what these are actually called. But that's just what I'm going to call them because it's what makes sense to me. Um, but so in this one roll, you have three of the ivory and three of the green, like, interchanging between themselves. Um, and then for the header tapes, you have the, like, gold foil and then the, like, green foil. Um, what am I talking about? Like, the overlay tapes. So this... The gold one doesn't necessarily match the like ivory color of this one so it's like two fun foil tapes and then like one standard foil tape i shouldn't really say tapes but like two fun foils and one standard foil in the subscription um so you have like the standard foil monstera leaves and then the like fun foil monstera leaves and then on the other side we have in the gold foil these are like the more themed like specific to the subscription um, overlay so you have like the little in the gold foil the single stroke with like a cactus and some succulents some like savila what is this called um what is that thing that you're supposed to put on burns i don't remember what it's called but it's like a like plant with leaves a monstera leaf a hanging plant and then like, just some other random thing and then you have the two um like bottom washi tapes so 15 and a 30 millimeter bottom washi overlay um and none of these are perforated at least i couldn't find the perforations on my tape which i personally don't mind because they are just like a repeating pattern so if you wanted this to be the sole like Thing on a full box you just cut this out and stick it on your full box or even with the monstera leaves like you can just use them as deco or as a part of the kit itself um but yeah that is everything for the overlay subscriptions and let's get on to the outro so that is it for this haul hopefully you enjoyed um let's go ahead and give a round of applause a clause round of applause to paper candy art um the Pretty Pink Co. and Rose Color Days for coming out with all of this gorgeous stuff to make us want to spend all of our money. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this haul. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, and then let's just take pause, take a chill pill, take a little bit of a breather, and deep breath in, deep breath out, and repeat after me. I am patient. The whole saying of good things come to those who wait sometimes i think is a fat lie but sometimes i do think that we all just need to be a little bit more patient if you're feeling a little bit angry take a little bit of a breather if you're feeling a little bit stressed take a little bit of a breather be patient with yourself with others with you know anybody or anything that you can be patient with and all of that fun stuff um but without further ado that is it i don't know what i'm doing with this robotic hand stance um, but that is it for the rest of this video or the rest of this video that's it for the entire video i don't know what i'm saying anymore um but again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys almost started this with what's up bitches but that's not what i'm supposed to say so <laughs> what's up guys how you doing